All right, let's do it. We're going to check out the Inferno, the prologue, the whatever you want to call it. I'm keen. Apparently, we drive through a bunch of people. I don't know what's going on. And I know this game is a little bit, uh, a little bit violent. Let's do it. Episode one. Top one or bottom one? Pre-battle. That's the first one. Let's do it. Love this artwork, by the way. This looks really good. If you're enjoying the stream, don't forget to come join the Discord afterwards. That would be great. Do you see now? You can't run from us. You dare interrupt me just as I was engraving. Whatever the heck that is. You must be out of your... If we're being technical, what our master has planned apparently isn't one of the city's taboos. It's just the kind of thing that no one has ever dared to consider. You catch my drift? Would you look at that? Says Lion. The panther. That's panther right there, yeah. You managed to get a different head in so fast. Wait, what? A different... Different head? Do people like you always come prepared? Oh, that's me. I guess my anime hair kind of looks like the flames on his clock face. <laughs> Just wait till I get the... You'll be no match for my... Now, what is he saying here? Is that like a spoiler, by the way? Armageddon, hello, the red elemental. Theater has them in cutscene form only. Gotcha, thank you. <laughs> Welcome. Lion looks cool. Is Lion playable? I guess that new noggin doesn't come with a mouth, huh? Oh! Yeah, we can't actually talk. I'm really glad we're reviewing all this again. We can't actually speak, and we just, like, think out loud. Or, well, think it, think internally. Ticking is all I could hear. You think they're screaming on the inside? I'd be saying, where's my anime hair gone? Oh, what the... It's ticking faster. So I guess they can still feel pain. Did she just stab me? Damn it. Why am I... Why am I being attacked? Not good. Memories are dissolving already. The something was done what? too quick. What? They've gone quiet already. Let's get this over with. Please don't kill me! Wolf, this is a place no one visits and somewhere none can see. What's the hurry? We must follow her teachings. We can't drag on any longer. This sounds pretty serious. But... <laughs> this is the moment of a lifetime. We're not going to get a second chance to kill someone of this caliber. Lion, you have a tendency to grow too emotional during your job. I hope you show some discretion. Push. It's a shame. I wanted to have a look at your face. I reckon you won't tell us where your star is, right? Why? Your star? Has his face... Star... Okay, obviously that question comes later, maybe. Like hell I am. I'm taking someone's location to the grave with... Damn it. Where was something supposed to be again? My memories are escaping me too quickly. Hmm, right. No mouth. That makes sense. Which in turn means we won't learn how to acquire it from this person. I could have told you that one. Can I end them now? Please don't. Good. Love the artworks, by the way, and love how it actually changes it up instead of just, like, character, character. I like how it's, like, different artworks already. Sure. Uh, hey, what's that noise? Don't tell me, Panther. Did you allow yourself to be trapped? No, this is Panther. There was no one that could have pursued me. Perhaps a, a wild animal, they suggest. This is not the sound of a beast would make. It's... Is it a killer? Is it a murderer? Boss. He's always expecting something violent. What? It's a bus. They're scared about a bus. A Limbus bus. Yeah. How did it even end up here, they say? Must have taken a wrong turn. <sighs> the price they pay for taking the wrong road will be heavier than they expect. Man, line looks cool. It's Batman. Oh! Oh, what the... They... They smacked him! With a bus! <laughs> Push! It bested Lion's strength. Yeah, getting hit by a boss does that. Panther. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. If my eyes are still right, then you will reach the harbor of glory. She seems important. Who are you? The nameplate says Faust. Did I pronounce that right? Faust or Forced? I think it's Faust. You've lost your way in a dark forest. It's a, is it a bird? Is it a plane? No, it's a Olympus. I'm sorry, what? 
Did she understand? Yet you were not overcome with fear. Why was that? That? I could simply lift my head to find the star. Okay, this mentioning of the star again. That's right. Now, repeat with the heart what I tell you aloud as you remind yourself of that image. Follow your star. I don't understand yet, but I'm excited what this means. Follow your star. Something about my face and a star. Follow your star. We repeat. At that moment, I felt a sudden thump. Whoosh. In my head. Followed by the sting of several chains penetrating my chest. What the hell just happened? Oh, shit. <laughs> what is going on? Relax. Don't make feel otherwise. Your heart is still functional. Yeah, but what about the rest of me? <laughs> Congrats. You just killed 12 people. Oh, that's coming out of me and I'm... I just killed 12 people. Oh my gosh. With this, the pact has been sealed. Dante, from this day forth, we are bound to your time. It's as fast. Who do you? The beating of our hearts now depends on where your hands fall. questions. I hope you'll make a fine leader. Leader? Leader? Ow. Ishmael! Is that really everything they asked? A single apple, says Yi Sung, has fallen. This guy's still not making any sense. Jeez, says Rodion. Okay, Rodion's kind of hot. What's up? Uh, the weight was killing me. Finally, some action now? Well, I guess, says Gregor, we could use a little warm up. So many characters being introduced at once. What is that wretch miserably rising right on the ground? Are they to be the newest addition to the team? Uh, ah, you might want to watch your words. I heard that that's our soon-to-be boss. That's me on the ground. Rather get bang. The attack must have happened in an instant. I'm impressed you managed to hide your head. Who are you people? And what's up with this bus? We are the bearers of justice who have come to aid you. And this is the magical bus that takes us wherever we wish to go. Members Company. Justice? Bus? I don't. I feel like he's about to say, I don't understand. Isn't that what you expected to hear? Either way, you're better off believing us to be your saviors. We're racing against time and the situation isn't in our favor. Let me explain this once. After some time passed. So if I'm not mistaken here, and I do as you've said, those total strangers will fight for me? Correct. So long as you give them the right orders and the right gadget currency, am I right, people? Who's the best character right now? All right. So we'll kill these arrogant vandals dead. Wow. Dante is just like straight into it, isn't he? He's just like, I'm just going to do it. Then I'll go back to where I was where I was and what was I doing and where was I when I did that all these questions I'd be so confused if I woke up with like a clock for a face I'd be like what the hell is going on now I have servants people are going to fight for me something extremely important was upon me and something that I shouldn't forget calm down it's only natural to happen with your current head you should focus on the struggle at hand aren't they Hello, pardon. I'm not sure how I should address you. So this is Artis? Will Commander Clock suffice? Actually, I kind of like that. Commander Clock. In any case, we await your orders. Do we really need orders? So it's like going one-on-one -on -one is the only way. Huh? Hey! We're running your mouths. We need to crush them all! Okay, so this is Heathcliff right here. So he looked really different on the title screen. So obviously that's some kind of like alter ego that we that we saw, right? But whatever. Something strange happens to this guy eventually down the track. But at least he has a bat. He's like the MC from Star Rail. Please, do your best. Dante. There's no two ways about it, I suppose. Oh, we're going in already? This is the fight. So I can go in and go enter for the fight. What's gacha currency? There is gacha currency in this game, right? Okay, wave one. This is the tutorial. We're going to watch this tutorial and then we're going to go and actually check out the real tutorial. Let me show you the basics of management and command. Let's see if I can understand this. 
give orders to the sitters by connecting chaining skills to the dashboard at the bottom of the screen. Try pressing the gear on the left. Click. Now from here, form a chain of skills all the way to the gear on the right. All right, ding, 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 ding. After you've formed a chain of skills, press the right gear to begin combat. They're gonna find, all right? We're gonna take online. Let's go, Ishmael. My love, my true love. Let's go. Oh, he's coming in to uh, steal the show. So one thing I noticed is that I never gave him a command. Or does that chain command everyone? Our trap wants to sleep, Brio. Take care, man. Thanks for hanging out today. You're awesome. Always awesome. It appears we need a powerful attack. Let's form a proper chain for it. So is it mainly connecting colors? One, two, three. Follow me. One and down. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to uh, checking out that tutorial because I'm wondering what is it that makes this a more powerful attack than the last one. All right, let's start. Here we go. Start. By chaining two or more skills to the same affinity this turn, so such as the double green, you will cause resonance. Okay. It boosts the damage of skills with the same sin affinity. Their color, in other words, the power of each skill is boosted by the number of skills that come before it. Power scaling, good option. Let's begin. Leave Ishmael! Oh my gosh, they actually show like a change in the sprite when they get attacked. And Lion seems really overpowered. Wait, wasn't Lion hit by a bus? <laughs> okay. That was enough. We must strike them even harder. Try chaining our skills again. Alright, fine. So this time I now have three of the same color, right? So now this is a res for resistance. Okay, we go straight across and done. As we've just covered, chaining three or more skills with the same affinity in succession causes absolute resonance. So two is resonance and absolute resonance is three or possibly more. Every skill under absolute resonance receives a power boost based on their total number. Likewise, the boost especially shines with more resonating skills. Okay, so Go let's on. begin the battle. Under. Take this, line. We're going down. Oh, wow. It's kind of cool, actually, the whole like sliding tackle thing. Boom. Boom. Staggered. Tell me about staggering. That's something that didn't come up, so I'm going to guess they can't make a move this turn. Line is really strong. That's the idea. Put them together, same colors. Yeah. You'll find yellow stagger thresholds on the health bars on both your sinners and the enemies. Okay, fine. When an attack puts a unit's HP below one of the yellow line thresholds, they will become staggered. While staggered, all physical resistance changes to fatal. Oh, if a unit's HP drops past multiple stagger thresholds in a single turn, their stagger level will increase. The stagger level can go up to three, and as it increases, the damage this unit takes is amplified. The higher the stagger, the more damage I'm gonna do, and I wanna get it to three. We're staggered an enemy. Now let's keep up the fight with what I've taught you so far. Thank you, miss. What, what is her name? This one here at the front. What, what's her name? All right, so if I go ahead and try to combine colors together, obviously I'm going to go across here with the uh, double green. And gold looks like it might be more value than the top one. Not really sure if that matters at this point. Let's get done. So, suffer, I guess. Thanks, Mr. X. And also vice versa, not getting yourself beat into a staggered state. That makes sense too. So if it can happen to the enemy, it can happen to us as well. Okay, so for now, these numbers next to them, is that their HP value? Ding, ding. Yep, ding. Wait a second. Yep, no, that, that's right. I can only go across. That's double blue there. Come on, Oof. Yeah, that was their HP with the numbers. That's good. Um, pretty sure we're screwed. We actually lose the tutorial. Forgot about that. <laughs> so we literally just uh, ran people over with a bus, and then we ended in a tutorial, and then we all died. Cool. Let's keep going. We all lost the battle. Let's have a look here. The panther. I don't get it. This is what I struggled against. <laughs> Whoa! Let's actually lower the uh, size of the chat here. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller here. There he is, Gregor. Whoa! 
Hang on. Love this artwork. I went to the post battle. This is the after battle. I don't. I know, I'm this is kind of weird. Coming from man. someone, you were just fine, but I'm pretty sure we can talk this way. I wonder why they made me download sounds at the beginning. This is unideal. Ishmael, I knew it was ridiculous idea to put up a fight against them. Bozo. They killed Ishmael. How the hell is she still, like, in this game, then? They killed Ishmael. Are you kidding? I haven't even... Flattened from above. What the hell is going on? You said you're fine in my stead. We never promised to win, said Vides. What? And it seems that I'm the only survivor. Okay, so you were... You were waiting for this. You have some hidden card up your sleeve, right? Not necessarily a trump, no. Rather, it's about following the star. The star thing again. What is this? Some kind of suicidal performance? Not the funniest lives to end. Tal, watch this. This is, like, brutal. It won't hold back, and we have so many new viewers today. What? What am I supposed to do? They jumped in triumphantly, only to die like flies. And by the way, yes, I'm keen to check out some more Fortnite too. I can't remember a thing about the past since I repeated what she said. Is this how... Is this how I die? Tell the serpent this. False line. This flow cannot be stopped. Oh, look at him. What the hell? They... What? A wolf. But... Red? But why? They killed them as well! Do you know why I only dismembered those two? Because at least one of you needs to be able to carry the rest out of here. Like, one, one person's going to carry all the dead bodies, and you're the only one left to offer them any help. The red gaze, says Phantom. Man with red eyes, don't glare at me like that. This is nothing compared to what you did. With wounds like those, I'm sure your boss will recognize that you did your part. Consider them a medal of honor. Oh boy. Unless you want this to be the end of your life. Uh, I don't think Panther has much of a choice here. Who are... Are you one of them? Tick, tick, tick. He can't understand him. You're too late. They're already... No one is too late, Dante. Wait, what the heck? He can actually understand his clock face? Is this the only guy in the world of Limbus Company that can understand us? There is only one thing we need. A little time. To rewind. Shock! I was suddenly overwhelmed by a sharp pain in my chest, as though my heart were being torn asunder. Oh! Oh! No sound effects, followed by flashes in the ribs, intensities, stomach, and lungs. Yeah! Engulfed in a... No, the sound effects! Vomit twisting and squeezing my entire body. And I let out an agonizing scream! Probably internal. You. In my fading consciousness, the only thing I could perceive... Are they coming back to life? Was the deceased flesh reconstructing in a bizarre manner. What? You'll suffer a plenty from now on, Dante. And the voice of the man with red eyes. Oh, I love it, bro. That is weird. And I could somehow resurrect people from the dead with my weird clock face. What did I do? Like somehow rewound time or something. Like that's that's interesting. Welcome to the company. Thank you. Let's go in again. We have another story to read here. Number two. Episode 2, Introductions, the pre-battle. We have law justified plot armor. Sounds like the guy with red eyes. If you're enjoying the uh, stream, guys, don't forget to come jump in the chat and say, hey, always love meeting new people today. Thank you. Don't forget to drop a follow as well if you're enjoying this too. So thanks, you guys. I hear the howl of a beast somewhere. For some reason, they managed to give law reasons for about everything. That's awesome, Simonsis. Welcome to the stream, by the way. Let's make Simonsis feel welcome, guys. It cries ceaselessly. 
Is it wailing and for hunger? Oh, the bang is twitching. Did they get up? Awake at last, they greet. I would have been a tad bit disappointed if you croaked on us. I'm not going to die. Oh, she's the bus driver. Charon, a fresh morning. This is Charon, the bus driver. And the man with red eyes greets us. Apparently he's good, right? Kind of. It's not morning, but I guess it's refreshing. How do you feel, Dante? Well, I... Tick-tocking like a clock. Sigh, some language barrier this is. You may call me... Virgilus. If you can understand what I'm saying, give me some kind of reaction, Dante. I gave him a quick nod. Since he didn't seem hostile. Good. At least your hearing is functional. Let's ride, Charon. Now departing. Vroom, vroom. <laughs> she's so cute. She's actually really cute. I know she's just like grey, but I love this style. It's really adorable. There was a heavy roar and vibrations as though they echoed from the bottom of a deep mire. It was then that I realised I was aboard a bus. And a bus? I can't be sure if I've ever ridden such a vehicle in the past. This looks like no ordinary bus. Do you remember who you were? I shook my head to say no. I'd been reminded that my head was now a blinking mechanism. I suppose you want my memory back. You want your memory back. Am I right? I nodded. I sure feel like an idiot. So, we have amnesia again. More elemental, we have amnesia. Smooth as it gets. What's to stop the rest of you from adopting the gesture-based communication? Any words of yours, Miss Faust? Faust will kindly turn down the offer. I doubt we'll have that much of a freedom over our own bodies most of the time. That's right. You work for me now. <laughs> She's the one who spoke to me back in the forest. Her silver hair that glistens even without sunlight gives off mysterious air. Poor little law things there. Dante, they say. Dante? Quick question. Come to think of it, the red-eyed man has been calling me that too. Dante is your name. The amnesia must be affecting you rather severely. Sure looks like it, we say. That doesn't sound like a familiar word. You'll get used to it in time. Wait. You can understand me? The group that attacked me earlier, and that Virgie... Who's been saying Virgie the whole time? Someone else has been in the chat saying, like, Virgie vegetable thing. What's going on there? Well, that Virgil, whatever he was called, seemed to hear nothing but ticking from me. Faust can hear what you intend to speak. You really can? But how? I don't even have a real mouth. Outdated ideas must be one from side effects that came with your head replacement. It's to think that vocal organs such as cords or a tongue are necessary to participate in conversation. Is it? Anachronistic. Right. Never considered that. Never thought you'd have to. You can limit the recipient of your words to one person. Or choose to speak to everyone at once. A little clarification. And when I could say everyone, I'm only referring to the sinners. There are gacha units. Sinners. The people who have taken seats behind you. And the ones who brought in your stand until moments ago. Wahoo! So, thou art the final piece that completes our journey's cast. How have I yearned for this moment? Uh, Say, pal, where did you sell your old cranium off? I don't think I sold it. I think it was stolen from me. Or did I hide it intentionally? And then give myself amnesia? And for what reason did I do that? There's actually like a lot of like realistic questions here. Like, where's my, where's my face slash head? Did I sell it? Did I give it away? Did I hide it? Did it come at the cost of losing amnesia? And how the hell can Faust understand me? So it was you. Thanks for putting my spine back into one piece. Were you a surgeon or something in the nest? So I'm glad I read those things. Start by the way, now I know about the nest. Everyone quiet. Nothing is more displeasing than to hear a choir of noises. I suppose you all owe them a brief introduction. We'll give you time to make yourselves known, starting with the closest one. Go on, Yo, dude. It's Gregor. He's like, head in the ass. Why is it always the ones in the front that go first? I'm sick of taking any sort of lead now. I heard you were going to be our boss, or our manager. Manager? Yeah, which is why I was real curious to meet you, and... 
Forming the right sentences is tough work. Don't know what you did with your old head, but I guess everyone has their story. I'm Gregor. I remind you of Graham Gion, who just followed a few minutes ago. We're in this together, Manager Bud. Okay, so we're gonna get an introduction like this for all the characters. Gregor, this sinner is relatively easy to handle in terms of personality. However, can upsurge of emotion or a sudden change of environment and cause parts of his whole body to transform into insectile. Notably akin to carapace, resembling that of the something tissues. I'm really interested in this game. If you don't wish to be a rude manager, that you're obligated to be nice, we recommend keeping your facial expression in check so that you, your disgust is not visible to him. He sometimes uses cynical language, but it can still be reasonable with. And you can get around right here without much difficulty as long as you learn the knack of it. So you can transform into an insect. I think I recall this in the video that I reacted to. They failed to explain how Charon can be so cute. So mind this, you're so right there. Sorry, me, Gregor. <laughs> Naomi <laughs> wrote on. Great. Now just your battle pal. Your good person. Good person. We'll make us filthy Correct. rich. Greg? Rich? What's that about? Let's see what's better. Dante, don't mind me if I call you by name. You can call me Rodia. Okay, let's go Rodia. Or in other words, Rodion. Rodion, my love. The unfortunate traits. Tell me in the chat, guys, if you love a particular character that comes up. Or even better, tell me why. Why do you love Rodia? The unfortunate traits of being Backstreet's born are apparent in this sinner. She loves money, gambling, and betting, so it's advised to pay close attention to her as a manager. She tends to deflect orders with an unimpressive wink of an eye or a silly joke. We recommend taking a stern stance at times to remind her that you are her superior. I'm in charge of you, Missy. That's right. Her hood. Her mood may be down at irregular intervals. There is nothing we can do to aid her in that state, so we recommend waiting for it to pass. Rodion is the spirit animal of gacha plays. Lovely. This one's easy, I'd say. Okay. Oh gosh, we're we so lost. A lot. Welcome back, uh, course. Welcome back. I think there's a well, good reason you became our manager. Probably because my cloth face. I'm sure it used to be a big deal back in the nest, right? When your old habits start coming back, we'll be much closer to rolling in the dough. <laughs> she does have a sociably, I'll, uh, I'll give her that. Oh gosh, look at me, keep going on. Yeah. Hey kid, it's your turn next. Obviously she loves money. So all the sinners are based on characters from classic literature. Really? Gregor is Gregor. Samsa from Franz Kafka's the metamorphosis metamorphosis uh oh really i didn't know this cool this reminds me of how fake grand orders characters are like based on history right come and join the discord if you'd like to by the way to help me grow on this game that'd be awesome guys anyone's welcome I'd love to learn new stuff new games that would be great oh she's boring uh, that's it oh. sinclair, i am sinclair senpai love it boom even with a vo volatile nature of human growth around his age taken in into consideration, this sinner seems to get particularly startled or frowned when spoken to. He isn't used to real combat at the moment, meaning that he may struggle to keep himself together at the sight of something as mild as spilt innards at first. Gross. As there may be those violent tendencies among your crew, we recommend taking an approach focused on positive reinforcement with this sinner. He appears to be he appears to possess a murderous gaze. Yep, that he himself isn't aware of. This is a hopeful sign that he has the potential to grow into an expert of our company's profession with the right stimuli. In other words, we're creating a sinner here. Yeah. Sinclair is the, uh, Emile Sinclair from, uh, Herman Essay's Domain. Tell me if I say it wrong, that's fine too. The boy looks awfully unnerved. Did he even join this company of his own accord? Uh, is, is, there, is there anything else I need to say? I've never worked for a company before. Well, you'll learn the road in coming days, says Roddy. Hey then, how about you next, nerdy pal? Damian, thank you. Damian, thanks. It's a German name. Awesome, thanks. Feel free to correct me on that. I do want to get it right, especially when I start reading the story more. Yisang. I'm Yisang. He looks like a boss, actually. Hey, Gouts, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. How you doing today? 
Oh Yi Sung, formerly the youngest chief researcher at the redacted wing. Dude, telling me to read those things at the beginning when the game was updating was perfect, by the way. Learning about the wings, learning about like the different sectors, 26 uh, locations and nests and so on. Really good information there. This center possesses higher intelligence compared to most others. We estimate that every day conversation with the center will prove difficult, but managed is selected by our current screening process. Avoid communication altogether with a pose of risk on its own. However, if the sinner remains silent for a long time, that means he's currently processing a line of deliberate thought. We recommend waiting patiently for him. It's kind of like I'm getting a bunch of uh, students that I'm going to like learn how they respond to things, etc. In for a wild ride with this game, the Beast Gamer. Hello. Doing good counts? That's great to hear. Simonsis, I assume Limbus is your first Project Moon game. I believe so. What are other Project Moon games? I might have played some without even realizing it, but it probably is, yeah. Um, of course, says Yisung is Yisung, a self insert from Yisung, Kim Hayes Yong's pseudonym from the poem The Wings. Cool. It's not perfect, but hey, it's a good mini summary for the Project Moon verse. Yeah. Hmm. You no you. smoke or mirrors, they say. I waited for him to reveal that he was pulling a prank or something. But he just start, stared vacantly into the window, disinterested. Maybe he's not disinterested. Maybe he's actually processing a thought or something, right? So, yeah. Uh, Striker says, uh, it's not perfect, but it's a good mini summary. Uh, we also have here the Count says, Library of Ruina and Lobotomy Corp. Both are paid games of very different genres. Oh, Lunum says Library of Ruina and Lobotomy Corporation. Thanks. You guys just said the same thing. <laughs> And so did Mr. X. <laughs> uh, well, Ruiner and Limbus aren't too far off, says Striker. Four Elemental says the same thing, but since you didn't recognize it, I doubt you played it. No, I've played it. No, it's a... Oh, it's a card game. Oh, that's interesting. I used to play a lot of card games back in the day. Uh, Project Moon, Hive Mind. Seems like there's a lot of people who love it. Yi Sung's name also pronounced like the Korean word for ideal. Oh, ideal. Like, Guy Sung? and they make a lot of puns about it. Gameplay-wise, right. Would strongly suggest playing Library of Ruina if you are gonna play either of the two. Awesome. Well, I'll definitely play this uh, first, and then when I run out of content, I can always jump over to something else. Uh, Cause my channel is basically like a gacha game channel, guys. So I stream things like Ark Knights, Fate Grand Order, Honkai, Genshin, Star Rail, Limbus Company, Punishing Grey Raven. Things like that. And when I start on something, I like to have it on two or three times a week. So yeah, so far loving this story, by the way. This is really cool. He just stared vacantly into the window. He just said, Nishmael. Every time I see her, I'm going to do that. I, I can't believe you people. Our proper introduction is the first step to being a member of society. Call me Ishmael, if you please. Can I call you darling instead? Ishmael. You may be disheartened by the defective state of many of your sinners, but do not worry. This sinner is one of the few who can carry out most missions without much complaint. She is likely to make reasonable judgments, so it is a good idea to start conversations while looking her way if you're seeking sound advice. Right, however you must, mustn't forget, this sinner has survived an absurd voyage in far and wide body of water. Her patience may run deep, but once you take a wrong turn with her, it will be a difficult task to regain her trust. Right, and something as well that I love about this is the fact that um, her like, how do I say it? Her like, ah, uh, I'll just get the picture. Hang on, let me find it real quick. Limbus Company, here it is. Yeah, look at this. This is the video that I reacted to um, about all the alter egos. Uh, for anyone who wants to check it out, I guess I'll drop it real quick in the chat and you can always uh, save it later, right. by the way. Uh, but I've been loving it. It's really good. Oh, sick. It just hit 1K. Thanks, everyone. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Um, that's it in the chat there as... Can I pin it? I can't pin it. It won't let me ping, ping it. But yeah, her um, outfit there. I love that. That looks amazing. Yeah. Let me just catch up on the chat real quick. Uh, we have here... You woke up all the sleeper agents in your community. Nice. Or like PM Brain Rod. The... Uh, <laughs> The all consuming, says Simonsis. Anytime someone mentions a library, we all come out. Love it. Ishi, 
they should make a canto with that name. It's just nothing there, so it is right here. Uh, marry me, Ishmael. No, she's marrying me. Leave her alone. Think of it like this. You, uh, you could get any and enjoy Ruiner and indulge in this world even more. Yay. Um, of course, I want to say, uh, Yaisung is one of my favorites, but in reality, all the cast is my favorites. I love them so much. Addism gang, where you at? And Briggsy says, my autism is very strong. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean by autism? Uh, Ishmael from the Grand Land of the Tale of Moby Dick. Yeah, right. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, actually, now when I look at the picture then, it looks like she's a ruler of the sea. Ishmael is based on Ishmael, the second mate of uh, Ahab in the Herman uh, Melville's Moby Dick. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, Yi Sung. It is Yi Sung, not Yai Sung. Okay, it is Yi Sung. All right, cool. Yi Sung, thank you. I heard you glued our bodies back together from pieces. Don't know how I did that, but sure. I look forward to working with you. Same here. She gave a polite bow before returning to a seat. Although she emphasized socially, she didn't feel like the most unthinkable sort. This, these lines here make sense if you read their profile. Okay, what the freak? You're coming at me with a bat that says revenge? Sorry to disappoint, because I don't care much for fitting in. Okay, you little badass. Tell me more. Name's Heathcliff. Apparently not too popular in the community right now. This to be a professional wrecker for property and people alike. People. All right, Heathcliff. This sinner prefers to take action rather than wait for logic to dictate his course. His thoughts and feelings are blatantly visible in his demeanor, and he has no intention of hiding them. Okay, that's why the baseball bat is out. Uh, his brain. His brashness they cause. Sorry, the, the color scheme is not good for this one. Let me go a bit closer. Or physically enduring leading to a headache in the process of forming a relationship. Please do know, I do know that this is not an indication of serious damage to the sinner's thought process. If his fit of rage persists, please contact the human resource department. <laughs> and once you realize that this is the type that tends to be simple-minded, you'll have an easier time handling him. Okay. He's also very hot, says Cole. <laughs> really? Heathcliff is Heathcliff from Emily Bronze Wuthering Heights. I thought you were about to say Wuthering Waves then. Another game I'll be checking out. Cats also says each of these characters are based on the book. However, they have differences in when they're in the book that they were based off. Some are before and some are during and some are after. Thank you for that. That's awesome. That's also what uh, Cals has been updating as well on this. That's good to hear. Heathcliff, got any tea or crumpets, mate? Uh, is he Australian? I'm Australian. Uh, this is the one of the least readable intro pages. The front, uh, the font color and background are extremely unfortunate. Yes. Hey, you doing all fine? Welcome. So you'd be better, you better watch it. I'm deathly allergic to cocky gaffers who think that they can boss me around. Okay, but what about clocky gaffers? Sorry, bad joke. I don't think I've done anything to give that impression. Yet. There's Don. Now it makes sense, by the way, uh, Striker. You know, from before when you were telling me about Don. Uh, this is my turn to speak. I am Don! Quixote. Uh, wait. Don, we marry me. Wait, question. Is that a guy or a girl? I can't tell. Uh, there is no sinner that can outmatch this one's level of passion if it were to be measured. An avid Aficonda, of all things Fixer, she joins herself with a variety of Fixer-related merchandise. They won't affect her performance in combat one way or another, so there is no need for you to restrict her. Okay, so obviously a girl. I get that now. Yep. Uh, from her decorations, she is deeply immersed in the role of a, of a righteous Fixer. Hence the exaggerated mannerisms akin to those of an actor. Has such thing ever existed? Really? It's advised to play along with her for a smooth mission. I'll play along. She's a gremlin. Okay, now it makes sense. So that's what you meant before. I didn't get it before. Now I get it. Thank you, Striker. Striker, you're really helpful. I hope you join the Discord. Again, all you guys are so welcome into the Discord if you would like. And if we do get enough interest in this game and enough people uh, playing, etc., etc., then so happy to create like a separate... There is a chat channel now, but a separate category in the Discord for you guys as well. I'm a fixer who shall sprint to the dream side by side. A pleasure to have thee. A fixer. That definitely feels like a term I used to know. They're based on the Don Quixote uh, from Mugul D. Saavedra's book, The Ingenious Gentleman Don 
I'm having trouble pronouncing this last name. Quick side aim. I think that's right. It's a girl in this game. In FGO, in the original book, he's a guy. What? Okay. Not that I wish to know what it is. I can't answer that question. Fixers are protectors of the city. I love her weapon. Wait, what does that say? Sound impossible. Okay. Welcome, Farhad Kingdom. How you doing? Kihode, thank you. Kihode, that's awesome. You are so good. Of course, I hope you also join the Discord. You are very helpful. Thank you. Uh, Pachenso faced struggle to remember the city. This. I believe I said this was a brief introduction. Oh. Don't make me say it twice. Next. My name's Honglu. That guy was in that tutorial that we watched before. Honglu. My name's Honglu. I hope we can get along well. Okay, a sinner who has lived an affluent life before becoming our company's asset. As such, he has a certain admiration for a free life, but occasionally he may make ignorant and unsavory questions in regards to the food cooked by certain other sinner or other aspects of the low lives, lowly culture. This can cause significant irritation on the other sinners. However, it is important to know that no sarcastic undertones are contained in his curiosity-driven inquiries, so it is ill-advised to let them get physical over it. Someone's gonna die. Hung Lu can't lose. Hung Lu marry me. For elemental, you want to marry everyone, I've noticed. Mr. says many evidence say that based on the bands of La Mancha. Interesting. Pseudo, impossible. Also, each of the characters is kind of based in different speaking patterns. In Don's case, Spanish. Ah, cool. Stranger, thanks. Jun Jihun, favorite child. Nice. No, this is that kind of... It's not my man. interest, though, they it's say. The hell's you. wrong with your attitude? Heathcliff looked to be just moments away from swinging his bat. Oh, swing it, boy. But when he realized the red gaze laid on him, he grunted and sat back down. So he obeys the man with red eyes. Probably he's going to obey him more than us. No sure. It's Ryoshu. Cool. What's up, Ryoshu? As they say, every person has their own creed. Sorry, before I get going, let me read what Paul said. Hong Lu is not based on a character, we think, but on the general plot of how Quinn's Hong Lu Kang. Lu Kang, dream of the red chamber. Sorry, I tried. Uh, Heathcliff is just a uh, Brit, though, and through. Yeah, he's a Brit through and through. However, he could be based on either Gia Zhao or Gia Bio. Nice one. Peak. Monsters. We don't know. Gotcha. As I say, every person has their own creed, and it's only right to respect its executive manager. But with some creeds, you will have difficulty in even simply pretending to sympathize. You will have noticed that the sinner in question is a silent chain smoker, okay, whose eyes shine with a euphoric gleam only during battle. She believes that senselessly destroying the enemy's heads, huh, in an uncultured act, and a step backward for art. <laughs> Caution. This in this background is one that can even our company may have trouble handling. It is advised against making her breed personal resentment towards you. Okay. Don't date crazy. Alright, moving on. Sure's nice to meet ya. <laughs> She's a gore artist. I don't know if you can put those two uh, words together right, literally. Yeah. Poor elemental doesn't mind. Real shoe. Marry me. <laughs> Just keeps coming up. Uh, yeah. So, Don, VA, is Nurl and Mudrock from Arc Knights and Burton from Reverse 1999. Oh, cool. It's always nice to hear the same voices, right? Like, it's nice when you're like, I recognize that. Reshu is based on the Emperor, one of the protagonists of Ryonsuke's Agatawa's Hell Screen. Okay. Okay. Medicine. Marisol, looks like he's going to punch someone. So, Marisol, please refer to me as such. Okay, Marisol. Marisol wants clear and concise commands, requiring no judgment on his part. That's the rest of it. Plain and simple. Okay. You're pretty polite. This isn't anything special. I'm simply behaving normally. I'm almost touched. Mercy. Yes. It felt as if something were greatly amiss with him, but I can't seem to pin it down exactly. Right. All hell, Daddy Salt. 
<laughs> missile jump scare. Nice, Mr. Eggs. Uh, missile based on Missile from Al Albert Camus, the stranger. Right. Or find he's suffering from Frenchness. Yep. Uh-huh. So is everyone kind of like French in this or, or what? Marry me, Missault. Yes. Salt the French jump scare. The way she scared me up and down. It was a little daunting. Tunnel. I... I felt almost compelled to bow to her. But she stopped me with a motion of a hand. <laughs> Outism. Right. Please, I would never make manager grow up before me. My name is Addis. I would like to apologize for my rudeness earlier. Fine. Listen, I could serve as an excellent advisor depending on your capability. However, she also has a meddlesome tendency, so it is recommended to keep her satisfied with short replies of agreement. She is an expert when it comes to tactics and various pearls of wisdom about life, making her advisor all the more valuable on your mission. In addition, she poses a vast knowledge of workshop technologies. You could trust her with simple repairs on the bus. Unlike the other sinners, accessing records pertaining the past to sinners is not permitted. Warning. Keep an eye on this sinner and be aware that she does not exercise her cunning intellect for the purposes other than completing our company's mission. Sip. Uh, she's a liar? What? Okay. She's a liar. Interesting. You may also know him as Ulcis. Ulcisus? Uh, there are two other opinions on Outers. She's reliable or she's going to betray us. We have no middle ground on this. Oh. Imposter among us. Oh, no. Love this middle-aged war general. <laughs> she's a nobody. Says Levo. Lev? I just call... I'm going to call you Clev. Often. Or fain. The setting of the city is that it's compromised of pretty much all... It's comprised of all of... Humanity, right. So there's actually not much. MVP, how are you? I said sip. That was my way of replying to you. You said sip. Four Elemental said sip. And now I've said sip. No, I haven't actually said anything about Odyssey. Addis is Greek for nobody. Oh, right. Interesting. Thanks, Lee. Rudeness? <laughs> oh, please. Her generosity <sighs> is a humbling side. <laughs> I don't recall her being rude. Was this before I lost my head or after? Hey, you doing, MVP? It's always great to see you here. I knew at first glance that you have what it takes to lead us. Huh? Sorry? While most humans cause noise and friction as a result of confrontation, some are able to read mutual benefit from coming head to head. It could be compared to the relationship between a blade and a wet stone. I vow to serve you with unrivaled devotion. Sounds like you're getting married, executive manager. My blade is yours to wield. Catching up, Count says, out of spins, nobody in Greek, by the way. The story of how and Odysseus attacked a Cyclops' eye to escape after telling them they were named Outers. So when they cried for help, the Cyclops said, Nobody is attacking me, so no one helped. Oh. That was when Dante was getting jumped by the three furries. Oh, okay, righto. So those furries. Um, <laughs> so the sinners come from all walks of life and have different nationalities. That also makes sense. Oh, fine, thank you. Yeah, it's actually really cool. I love it. I love how, like, all these different characters, like... Everyone seems individualized. Correct. Addis is Greek for nobody. Uh, Ulcis notoriously defeated the Cyclops by introducing himself as a nobody, and therefore, when calling for alarm, the Cyclops yelled, Nobody's attacking me. Nobody's killing me. Right. Yeah. It's always good for me to read things twice. It's fine. Uh, you beat me to it. Lol. Yusung, Korean. Faust, German. And Don is Spanish. Nice. And by the way, I should mention, I'm actually someone who's uh, actually learning Chinese at the moment as well. That's pretty cool. Learning Chinese. Is there anyone Chinese in here? You can never... Sorry, you can leave the city. But best be prepared to face horrors unimaginable. And will also find nothing but their except death. Death? I'm afraid of death. Ah, uh, Cleve, Ishmael, American. Heathcliff, England. Rodion, 
Russia, and is there a reason why they're from so many different nationalities, I wonder? It seems like, it seems cool that they're all individualized, but is there a reason behind it? Super, you should totally read Hong Lu Kang then. Super interesting insight on Chinese traditional family power structure. Yeah, I've been talking tonight about how um, I, I'm negotiating with a company at the moment. I mentioned this at the start of the stream. Um, and their name is Greg True. They're Chinese based. They're also from Shanghai. And they basically suggested in a two and a half hour interview yesterday uh, with them to set up a social media account for me uh, and to have it like in China and such, uh, such as on Billy Billy and Chinese TikTok. And they're going to help me run that. Um, yeah, they suggest I learn Chinese. And so today I've been using this thing called uh, Duolingo or something. And I'm learning Chinese, which is actually really exciting. So yeah, pretty cool. That's reassuring. Thanks. I gave her an approving nod, even though I still don't get what she meant by her rudeness. It's not that I don't get it, it's the fact that I think I can't remember it. <laughs> Bold face high praise not too long after calling them a miserably writhing wretch. How many of these names did you recognize from your literature classes? Zero. <laughs> I think I slept in my literature classes. I think I see now. Faust, it seems I'm the last. Faust is the name. There she is. Let's read all about her. This is the one I'm the most curious about, by the way. The center who developed the engine of Mephistopheles, the bus operated by Limbus Company. Mephistopheles is a name I recognize from Fate Grand Order, by the way, so that's interesting. Who developed the engine of Mephistopheles, the bus operated by Limbus Company. Oh, okay. Interesting. Is that the bus's name, Mephistopheles? She claims that there is no one in the city who could rival her library of knowledge and wisdom, and she isn't necessarily wrong. You might find her high and mighty attitude when she allows you to converse with her displeasing, but as seen with how she treats everyone with subtle gestures of arrogance, there is no hope of her parting with it ever. We recommend simply nodding once and getting over it. Even though she has an unparalleled genius, we can't quite figure out how to use this one. She could be the one to find out. I hope so. And you have on the chat again, the world is just hell, no matter where you are. Nice. Simonsis, both Sinclair and Gregor have been caught speaking German. Surprise! Uh, how many names of those do you remember? I slept during my uh, literature classes, obviously. Faust is based on Faust from Faust. Okay. Thor says the city where this game based on... Sorry, this gun? This game this game based on uh, Seoul, but it's world built as a melting pot of globalist culture. That's why there's so many different people, I'm guessing. Faust is fun because I know her fun code name of... How do I pronounce that? Well, Burgish Snort. <laughs> it sounds like I said something really inappropriate just now, but I'm going to roll with it. Yes, that's the bus's name, Mephistopheles, which is also from Faust. Okay, gotcha. Cool, good to know. It's making so much more sense this time that I'm seeing this right now. It's already above a name. Yep. A genius with whom you're lucky to cross paths even once in your life. Mm -hmm. We say, mm -hmm. Sounds like you aren't convinced, Dante. Well, it's fine. You've come to learn in time. That sounds like an invitation and a challenge. Learn what? That Faust is indeed a brilliant mind. She talks about herself in the third person. I noticed that I've given the numbers, by the way. When a proverbial tree falls, the fact of its sound cannot become truth when the outside observer fails to recognize it. Okay. So, interesting. Who is number one? I've missed out on who's number one. So, if Faust is number two, and Virgilius is the uh, is the guide, who's number one? I'm on the lookout to find number one. That's enough greetings, they say. I'll, I'll catch up on the chat in a second. I'll, uh, I'll read a little bit more here. Dante, let me explain your new occupation. You mean... As the manager. They're asking if the job you're about to explain is that of a manager. Got to think of it, that red-eyed man couldn't hear me, unlike the sinners. That's correct, Executive Manager Dante. You will embark on a trip to the Inferno with the 12 sinners who have just introduced yourselves. Oh, so Yi Sang is the first. Faust is the second, Don, Rio, Salt, Hong Lu, 
Monty, Ish, or Ishmael, Rodion, Sinclair, Altus, and Gregor. And Dante is number 10. Right, okay, put them in the middle then. I'm going to do my best to try and commit these uh, things to memory here. At the Inferno, why should I go to hell? They're asking why they need to travel to the Inferno. How about this? Treasure awaits at the end of the road. Would that suffice? I don't. You mean I used to be a treasure hunter or something? I can't seem to get you at all. I didn't ask for your understanding, Dante. Nor was this a question of your willingness. You'll have to listen to me if you want to reclaim your memories and original head. So realistically, I'm at Virgilius's mercy. I do want them back, but... They're hesitant. Miss Faust. What Dante would we do if Dante keeps, keeps on refusing to cooperate? This was not a scenario we anticipated. Preposterous. Faust anticipates every possibility. Dante, once you completed all your missions, you'll be able to engrave the aspect. That was capitalized. That is meaning something. I can promise you that. Aspect? A word that strikes my mind intensely. Even though my memories are gone, my underlying instincts are responding strongly to it. So the aspects, I don't know anything about that right now, and I don't think I'm meant to. Led by intuition, I make my choice. See them? They're nodding. Good. Then we can continue. And by the way, Sharon, is it, why is the bus moving? Were you dozing off? This is so cute! In bus driver. Only stews is a fresh spot, but weirdos were hanging around the front of Mephi. Now I get it. Mephi, Mephistopheles. I told you, Sharon. If anything happens with the bus, you've got to let me know right away. Mephi, who's that? Mephistopheles. The name of this bus and the engine that runs it. And Faust's magnum opus quartus. Okay, I'm going to catch up on the chat because I have a question, right? I have a couple of questions. First of all, here's my question while I catch up on the chat. Um, is the bus actually like kind of alive? Like, does it have like a bit of a soul? Like they've given it the name Mephistopheles. It's the engine, which sounds like the heart of the machine. So it feels like it would have like a bit of a soul to it. But yeah, you know that I liked, uh, uh, sorry, if you knew, let me clear this up about spoilers, by the way. Uh, I don't mind a little bit of uh, info. I'd rather know things as well. But if you think it's a spoiler, then don't tell me, okay? Um, also, kind of ironic in this game, try not to tell me, like, who lives and who dies, right? There's been a couple of times where I've had some people come into the stream and just, like, drop something about, like, someone who's dying, right? So just be really careful on that because, you know, so far I'm loving this story, right? Everyone's already died, though. That's why I said it's going to be a weird question. I mean, a weird thing. Um, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's keep going. And Faust's Magnum Opus Cortis. So listen, even though I say things like, is the bus alive and things like that, if you think it's a spoiler, then don't tell me, right? But at least you know that I'm questioning things and like trying to get a better understanding, right? Instead of just reading you guys can be like, oh, look, he's actually trying to understand the universe, right? And this mess of stuff is. An ideal fairy boat to bear us across the inferno. Wouldn't you agree, Dante? I wasn't sure what he was getting at, so I turned away to look through the window instead of giving him a reply. I've been looking out for the inferno thing. Looks like they're just another pack of dirty rats living in the back streets. This is just the right time, Dante. They should make perfect targets for practicing your command. Oh, we're going to go beat up some people. Dante asked to go over many details during our first battle. You're damn right you did. That's why people have to go ahead and watch Egg Su or whatever his name is. We will be short on time after all. But we will be slaughtered frequently if no improvement are made for your strategy. And in turn, you'll have to endure senseless pain over and over again to revive us. Oh... Okay, that's interesting. We murder them. <laughs> Fine. Revive? You mean what happened earlier was? Yes. We're brought back to life because you 
It's when I said, yeah, turn back the clock. Do you remember how I said something like that? It was like as though we turned back the clock, bro. <sighs> I don't believe that much is necessary. It's better. Save the chatter for later. Sinners. Of the bus. Allow me to elaborate on combat. Okay, let's do it. Uh, by the way, guys, as well, here's another thing too. Like, if you feel like there was like a spoiler in the chat, spam a crap ton of emotes in it so I don't, I know and I don't see it as well. That's another thing you can do. Let's enter the battle here. Buffy is actually a divine being that plots to turn the sinners into killing machines to take over the world. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. That is uh, that is very deep. I'm excited to hear that. <laughs> All actions are dictated by a speed value. All right. Speed is a random number chosen from within a given range each turn. Gotcha. Like this. Position of the units are rearranged every turn according to their speeds. Those with lower speeds are placed at the front, making them easier targets. Right. We all have zero, I've noticed. Can I increase my speed somehow, by the way, guys? Obviously, I'm out to get the same color, yeah? So let's do it. We have two. We're in residence right now. That's a good thing. Let's go. We hit with a nine. We have a coin there. I'm looking out for things. Two coins ahead. Right. The coins also seem to dictate how many attacks I have as well. That's cool. I'm getting it. That was a great tutorial we watched before. At the start of each turn, a skill slot will be added for the sim in the order they were deployed during team setup, regardless of if the sinner is staggered, in panic, or ego corrosion. Show me some ego corrosion. Fast only has one speed. Oh, really? Okay. Oh, I just do this again, do I? I go through. I'm being told to go below. When a sinner and their target both use attack skills, a clash occurs. All right. A clash occurs when two characters attack each other. The side with the high power wins, removing one coin from the loser. If both sides still have coins, more clashes will occur until one side has lost all of its coins. The side that loses all their coins will have their attack skill cancelled. A winner will then attack with their remaining coins, gaining a damage bonus based on the total number of clashes. That's really cool because it also means I have things to comment on while they fight, right? So look out for that. In a clash, the clash power of two opposing skills is compared, and the sign with the greater power wins. The gauge and text shown at the top of the screen predict your odds of winning. Alright, so let's say if I'm... So do I have any kind of... Yeah, let's see that and that. Yep, yeah, sure, that, that's who each person's attacking, right? Alright, so if I go for the top lane, go through, straight across, it just gives me double green here. Let's go. PM, I, uh, yeah, Power Moon making tutorials a challenge. Uh, we have to decipher things for ourselves. Look at that. The power increase. Increase. What a lie. Really? It's a lie? Don't tell me that. Let's see the main thing I understood. <laughs> Connect blue with blue and yellow with yellow and green with green, bro. That, that's the main thing. Okay, we have like a paralyzed. Was that like. Okay, they're in the state of panic running. Is that because I took all of their coins as well? The blue orb next to a character's health bar is an indicator of their sanity or SP. The sphere of the units right indicates their sanity or SP. It has a range of 45, minus 45. Yeah, I did watch it, yeah, but I'll watch the whole thing and I'm going to upload a reaction to show you guys that I actually cared enough to watch the whole thing from start to finish. Uh, the remaining got minus 45 sanity because you killed one. Right. Yeah, cool. Defeating enemies through Sandy. I mean, I hope he's good with 20k subs, right? While allied deaths will harm Sandy, enemy units at low Sandy may fall into states of low morale or panic. There is so much of this game, and I did not realize. Click the arrow at the top. I mean, this one. Or arrow at the top, sorry. That one. I don't know what arrow at the top you were talking about, sorry. Here we go again. Ding, ding, ding. There's a triple blue. Looks like I'll be in guaranteed residence, by the way. Oh, quick and is playing to me, right? More people will not break the in. Three arrows next to the cog. Gotcha, I'll do that next time, thanks. Cool. Done. Combat tips. Speed determines the formation of units in combat. That's a good tip, actually. I'm blind. I'm blind. Hit the road, Jack. Hit the road, Jack. 
Let's see this one. Hit the road. It's a pre-battle. Yeah, guys. So today we're just doing the uh, prologue, by the way. And then after that, we'll be back again to be doing chapter one and so on. Other events in this game as well, I assume as a gacha game, it probably comes as well. Yeah, so I'm redoing it because last time I played it, I kind of skipped a lot just to give it like a bit of a test run. And I didn't understand it. And if people saw that last time, they'll understand this time that I'm giving this game like a bit more of a chance and reading the story on a deeper level. And also I'm kind of like trying to understand the combat and there's so much more that I'm seeing this time than last time. And I'm actually really excited about this. Like it's really cool to see. And lots of people in the Discord, by the way, are talking about Limbus Company. They're like, you need to play this game. This is a really cool game. And I'm like, I already have enough gadgets to play. But I'm like, you know what? Fine. I'll check out a few videos, right? Shout out to Lunam in the chat. It was like, watch these videos. And I was like, hey, thanks for the follow. And I was like, fine, I'll watch the videos. And then I was like, oh my gosh, I definitely need to check this out. So yeah, it was really cool. They're looking more useful than before, Dante. Shout out to Lunam, obviously. They all got away. Save for one, though. Should we go after them? Thanks, Counts. Appreciate the follow. Yeah, guys, if you're enjoying the stream, don't forget to drop a follow as well. That would be awesome. And again, if you're enjoying as well, come and join our Discord as well. I can see that a few people have already come in and joined in. So that's awesome to see you guys. Thanks for coming in, by the way. So shout out to you guys. Thank you so much. They all got away. Save for one, though. Shouldn't we go after them? They're worried over the foes that we lost. No need for concern. That's the direction we're waiting. Anyway, Jaron, battle touches the battle. Up for an exciting ride. Let's go. So we have a bunch of thugs. We're not going to beat them up. We're going to murder them. <laughs> All right, to get into the theme of this game is crazy, right? Form a chain of skills. I have more to teach you. Okay, Faust, I'm ready. Let's go. Uh, so let me do it this way. Green, green, blue, blue, ready, done. Don't ever expect to see 20,000 damage hits in this run. First tip, do not listen to the tier list. It makes my eyes bleed. Wow. Is this the same stage? It's not the same stage, bro. I went to like the third one. That's why she's teaching me more, bro. You can see the uh, resistances and weakness of each unit up here. This hooligan is vulnerable to slash attacks. Oh, okay. Yeah, right. I, and I can see the power differences here. All right. Then I can start. Yeah, we, can't, we haven't done this yet. We haven't seen this animation yet. Oh, that's cool. You could also use defense skills to deal with enemy offense. Defense skills activate against the enemy attack paired with it. If the defense skill is impaired, it will activate when the unit is subject to an unopposed attack. Okay, unlike attack skills, defense skills need to be generated. Let's generate a guard first. If you'd like to be so kind as to press Gregor's portrait. Okay, Gregor. Guard creates a shield with health equal to its power value. This shield will absorb incoming damage first. Using guard multiple times in a single turn, we'll have it activate that many times. Steam. Good. A guard skill has been generated. Let's do the same for a counter skill. If you'd be so kind to press Rodia's portrait, so she's a counter person. Unlike other defense skills, counter has an affinity and will generate its corresponding ego resource. When using other, when using counter, the unit will launch an unopposed attack after being hit. However, the unit cannot launch a counter while staggered. That's Gamut. Lastly, we'll generate an evade skill. If you are so kind to press Faust's portrait. When evading, when using evade, the character will dodge if the evade's final power value is greater than the equal, that or equal to the incoming attacks. The attack will hit with full force if the evade's power is lower, so be careful. Okay. Let's uh, generate this. Wait, what's that symbol mean, guys? That's how it's like a weird arrow thing. What's the deal there? And let's begin. <laughs> the guard slime dealing. What, 20k? The tier list sucks. If there's another... Sorry, if there's a tier list, maybe it should be one of teams rather than specific IDs. Except the two of you know who that's just at the top. Is it Ishmael at the top? MVP. Well, all you need to know, defend is trash. Evade is good and counter is not good. So just use evade. 
they're just scared of letting us know that his son is actually stronger than him. Oh, it's him, right. That's why it's only four digits, Yi Sung is clearly stronger. I love how like everyone has like their own opinions on who would be the best as well. Okay, so let's do it. One, two, three, four. Wait, I can actually use double blue here with a slasher, knowing that they're weaker to slasher, and then doing that, and now we have triple resonance, and now we can start. Look at that. See, I'm understanding. That's good. That's really good. We destroyed them! Oh my gosh! Uh, yeah. And then, now there's only one dude left. So it really doesn't matter at this point, I don't think, of, of who we uh, who we use, right? So let's do that. This way, this way, this way. Triple president and plus two and plus two. So this must be a really strong attack right now with two purple, two gold, and three green. Give me a second, says this man. Faust, what is it? I joined this company because I was told that I'll be able to advance my career without slowing down. But right now, it's nothing but meaningless violence. Like we're rats or something. I object to it being listless. Those were evil to us who attacked us. Obviously a hero. Please, just... Be quiet for a moment, she says. Anyway, if we are all going to do, it's all going to do is beat up people. In brackets, murder people. Under orders like hired thugs, I'll have to consider changing your job sooner or later. I'm sure you've read your contract. Resignation is not an option. 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 Permitted. Not permitted. That's some crazy contract. Do you think the contract has any sway? If it's based on the lies? Of course it does, they say. Of course it does. If it's based on lies, I'd be very concerned. There were no lies on it. Huh? You didn't think Mephistopheles was built to be a human transportation vehicle? Mephi is always hungry. He wants to eat people. Is that why it, like, ran over people at the beginning as well? Like, or in that trailer? The bus gets hungry. Is it actually eating people? When the engine is yes, fuel is yes. It yields a byproduct. Using that, you grow more powerful. Lovely. I'm sure you sat in those as well. When all possibilities are drawn to the mirror, there is no limit to one's growth, they say. Is the self-mirror my reflection? Or another being entirely? That's a pretty deep thought, bro. Possibilities? You draw what exactly? Okay, loving this story, by the way, so far. We're going to be checking my mailbox soon and seeing if we have any gadget currency. No idea if we do or don't. And loving the fact that this game actually has, like, a client for it. Like, this is, this is really smooth. This is great. I'm not playing a LC player or blue stacks. I'm playing on the actual Steam version. Bio? This is great. I see. This is what was about. No what that was about. There's no need to get impatient, Ishmael. As the bus goes on, we naturally take a more important task than beating the life out of random crooks. I know you're eager to achieve your goals, but you try to have patience. This is worked by whisking out one of our limitless possibilities from the mirrored world. It'll have overridden a part of our memories. You'll get used to it in no time. Whoa, hang on. That sounds a bit dangerous, don't it? What if I'm no longer by yourself by then? I don't think you will be. Don't mistake yourselves for the ship of Theseus. While it's true that you can borrow the identities and memories, the system is designed to ensure that you don't lose control over your own existence. Different though your reflection may be, it is bound to vanish once you walk away from the mirror. This guy is too complex. Big Sun Cliff and the Kyo Cliff. I do a lot of solo, so counters are often really strong for me. I guess it depends on the character, right, uh, Simon says. Uh, Striking says, also, even if there were lies, leaving the wood, leaving wood still entail likely angering Virgie. Yeah, you don't want to miss uh, mess up with the guy with the red eyes. Uh, also, the Steam Client is cross playable with mobile. Oh, cool. Actually, that's a really good question. Can I be logged in on two places? And is it fake grand order? can't be. In Arc Nights, you can be. And I'd be logged on Steam and on my phone and not like have to transfer my account and stuff like that. 
Another question I have, guys, by the way, is what are the dailies like? Like, I really need to know, like, are the dailies quick and are they worth doing? Uh, Count says the game is very free-to-play uh, friendly. You get any stars and egos of your choice using the right... Hang on, I've just skipped a line. One sec. Uh, the game is very free-to-play friendly. You can get any previous IDs. I assume each character is called an ID. As long as they aren't from the Valpurgis, of which there has only been two. And it's much more than possible to grind to get the specific IDs you want. Okay, now I'm going to need to know, like, what are some of the IDs that I need? Uh, to be good at this game. Within three months of daily grinding, you can get five three-star ego of your choice. Five of them, wow. Using the right technique, 15 if you get the battle pass. Wow, you can literally triple it, it's huge. To the battle pass, reach level 500. 500? 500, what? Like the first day, like some CN guy literally reached level 500 the moment season four battle pass drops, wow. The dailies are quick, five minute tops. That's awesome. You can share the account, they will synchronize progress. That's so good. If I could do dailies on the phone, that's so much easier, right? What about login bonuses? Are there login bonuses? It's up to you to place the most effective figment uh, of possibility on us at the right time. Some people grind to like 3,000. Whoa. That's unreal. Like I thought AFK Journey with like 600 tiers in their battle pass was good. But like 3,000, that's huge. It's kind of like if you were going to, uh, I'm getting the feeling like if you were to play this game, one of the main things you would probably put your money into to support the game would be the battle pass. Dailies are just uh, depend on RNG. If you get all the high roll, the thread fight, and ease experience fight, 3M can be achieved. Sorry, can be achieved? Yeah. No login bonuses you play when you want to play. Gotcha. Bonuses for dailies, right? And the sound of dailies are going to take a bit longer. But it's going to speed up once you have a strong team. Awesome. I suppose you guys are super helpful in the chat, by the way. I want to say thank you. Uh, thank you for your support and explaining things. You guys obviously are a great community. Uh, this has happened uh, to me for Fate Grand Order and Arc Knights as well in particular. Um, and Honkai, in fact, third actually, when a lot of people, when I joined uh, the community, you guys were very helpful. Uh, you know, and many of those people are still with me today on the stream as well. So you guys are awesome. I really appreciate the fact uh, that people in the chat and also people even on YouTube comments as well has been very helpful in helping me to understand this game a lot more. And the world, and the world by the way, so thank you so much. I suppose you could say that it's a form of transformation. Golly, where'd you learn big words like that? Transformation, really? I picked it up. My pride and fashion replied me with various occupations. Oh, when love done chatting, let's break away first. You'll spend more time together than you'd ever ask for. So keep that combo for later. Oh my gosh, they just show a guy being impaled on the loading screen, really? <laughs> let's enter the battle right now. There's a method that you can do to choose IDs. Now that's cool. Okay, wave one. Each character has a skill set. This is the list of skills from which they draw. Press the character to open their tab info. Press the character to open their tab info, gotcha? Yep. Each center you control has their own group of skills. A number of them of those skill sets be randomly selected and deployed on the dashboard. Right, that's why it, different characters jump in and attack, right? Because of each one of their skills is on here. New skills are treated as discarded from the set. They will not reappear until every other skill set has been used. Thus, refilling it. Okay. Additionally, attack skills have an offensive level and clashes the differences in offense levels may affect the outcome. I mean, the one who has the highest usually wins, right? So, that should cover the basics of your city skills. Now, give them your orders. Okay, fine. Uh, so, we'll attack with this one, right? Taking it slow, obviously, that's his skill. When I go to this one, that's Ishmael. If I go down, that's still Ishmael's. So it's cool. This one here is a slasher as well. That's Yusung. Yisang, sorry. Yisang. And then this one here is Rody. Getting their names, by the way. Okay, and then this is Gregor as well, and then start. I'm trying, guys. I hope you can see that. I'm trying to learn their names and understand what the heck is happening right now. Death. Click on a center. All right, I'll do that. 
I'll uh, let Val speak, then I'll click on the center. Besides skills, your centers have passive abilities. Centers in battle have their combat passives active. Centers who are not directly participating in battle will provide aid with their support passives. Interesting. To put theory into practice, activate the passive by chaining to pride skills. Now, can I do this first? Click the arrow on the top. Is that the arrow up there, by the way? I think it wants me to chain the two pride skills. Hang on. Cool. Pride. Priders. Gotcha. There's lusters. There's priders. After the dialogue, yeah. I think it'll still have to keep going. Bosch will indicate what passives are active. Passives activate when you possess a certain number of ego resources or chain skills for a certain affinity to cause evidence. Okay, let's go. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Smack bank down. Wave two. Our current encounter comes in multiple waves, okay. To help with this, your sinners possess powerful skills. Called Ego, manifested by resonating with their emotions. To use Ego, you need Ego resources. Put this stuff on the side here. You can view the Ego resources you currently have, stockpiled here on the right. Yep, I was right, Phil. As this is your first time trying your hand at Ego, I've collected the necessary resources for you. This is a special power, so you'll need to gather them on your own from now on. That actually adds so much more to this chain thing here. I can't just go like straight across. I need to be thinking about how to increase my ego and chaining and, and getting those resources, yeah. Sinners who can currently use ego will be highlighted. Ego must be generated on the dashboard, much like defensive skills. Press and hold the highlighted portrait. So highlighted and this one here. Okay. So if I click that, Press and hold the highlight and hold it, sorry. Hold the icon of the ego you want to use. Yep, cool. Done, use the dashboard. Skills can be cancelled by tapping on the portrait. Twice once they are added to the dashboard, the ego skill will be cancelled and your resources will be refunded. Ego is a powerful equipment that manifests by resonating with your sinner's emotions. You use an ego skill, you get a synapinity based ego resources. Whenever you use an attack skill, you gain an ego resource matching its affinity. Okay, on top of requiring ego resources, ego takes a toll on a sinner's sanity. At low sanity, the sinner might suffer from ego corrosion. Sinners corroded by ego will ignore your command to ensure that your sinners are in a good mental health. Interesting, that's kind of like what they keep talking about, and that looks like non human stuff. Vals use ego, deal damage, the worst thing is skill one shot. After using an ego skill, its passive ability will activate on the next turn and further empower the sinner for the rest of the battle. Make good use of the variety of passives that Ego has to offer. Oh my gosh, Ego Overclock now, what the frick? Uh, ego Overclock can be a stable or unstable depending on resource available. Overclocking spends 1.5 times as many Ego resources and SP as the Ego skill set usual cost. To overclock an Ego skill, you need to possess at least the base Ego resource cost. If you have the base cost, but not enough for the Overclock, the Overclock cost will be subtracted from your possession beyond zero. That's why it's an overclock. Got it? That makes sense. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, so just catching up on the chat again. Glad you did the tutorial thing, and yeah, that's the arrow. Gotcha. Fun fact 90% of this tutorial is trash. Change my mind. Wow. Not changing it. You're perfectly right. <laughs> I don't think anyone would. Only the ego resource is a good thing. Hey, Vinyl. Hey, Drake. How you doing, bro? Hope you're having fun on your holiday right now. MVP, but need to explain why and when the ego resource is needed and for what reason. It's like an overpowered thing, isn't it? Pass use ego and deal damage. That's the worst in single one. If single target. Right. The orb. Hello. I love me some good old damage. Basically, overclock lets us use the corrosion without friendly fire. Okay. Awesome. Let's do it then. So, she was highlighted before. She's no longer highlighted. Wait a second. You said to click on a portrait real quick. Clicking. Why it's not working? Nah, it seems like I'm locked into just battling at this point. Okay, so we'll go with blue, we'll go with purple, we'll go with purple, we'll go with blue, we'll go with this one, and an ego for the last one, analytic eye, and 
game on. Let's see it. The attack skills can be single target or multi target. The latter can be called AoE skills. It seems to go that it's about to be in play as an AoE skill. What a surprise. Let's see it. I get what an AoE is. Thank you. That's fine. I'll skip that. Back. Here we go. Let's see it. Ding, ding. Rapture. Okay. Six there. Okay. Ten. The three. Obviously, they're just random thugs, so we're way stronger. Now we have a 10 with the point click. And this is the ego. All right, let me see this thing. That's those all the art guns. Looks good, bro. I love seeing that. The ego skills is what makes it extra interesting as well. That's really cool. Utilizing ego will be an important part of your strategy. Interesting. Before we proceed, I'll let me introduce you to a useful feature. Talk about overwhelming the player. Uh, <laughs> allow me to give you about nine tutorials in one hit. Wait. I could let the game chain skills for me. Chains will automatically be chosen depending on what button you press. But I, I, I don't know if that's a good thing. That's like an autoplay feature. We right pick skills that are the most likely to win clashes. Damage is the name of wise pick skills that can hurt your enemies the most. Regular encounters. Right, okay, that makes sense. It's not actually totally autoplay, it's a bit of decision making still about win rate and damage. So let's go with win rate then. And let me have a look at damage. There is very little difference. It's how to do it really fast though, I guess. I mean for now, I think I'd rather like just myself so that I can actually understand it better. Come on. I sign in, use those mods just by making uh, the ego not target you. I see. Victory is ours. Nice. In common encounters, there'll be very little difference. Okay, gotcha. You guys are mostly used for the uh, the high rolls. So, for example, thank you, thank you, Leo, thank you. Uh, for example, Faust's Ego heals SP for allies, which is extremely useful when you're running low on it. Gotcha. And for both win rate and damage, are much worse than proper gameplay as well. It's more meant for de dailies when you have proper teams already made and ready for it. I thought so. I thought that's what it was going to be. I thought so. That was totally the final boss battle. Okay. Tip. Never use it. Reject lazy monkey brain and a brace nerf brain. Okay. Uh, we have a story to read here. I don't think we've read this story yet, so let's do it. The possibilities 10 form. Thinking of reading, we're in English. I see. This is what that was about. This don't need to get too, too impatient. Ishmael. As the bus goes onward, you're naturally... Oh, hang on, I've already read this. Next. Hang on, I already read this. So I skip button. Before I learn the skip button. There it is. Okay, sure. This game is complicated, you can tell. Kill everyone. Uh, it's post battle. This is it here. After we kill everyone. Okay, let's go. Can we please make Alkaline feel welcome? Well, welcome. The wrong clear, said Sharon. But Mephistopheles. Mephi. Could have run them over just fine. Huh? What did I fight for then? Sensing a rattling agitation in my gestures, Virgilus stepped in. Calm yourself, Dante. It's like this guy's constantly, like, you know, on my case. He's always like, just be calm. Just be calm, Dante. It's not right to ask a toddler to run when it has yet to take its first steps. Thanks for the tutorials. You need every opportunity to try and walk before your mate to run. Furthermore, Dante, as a manager, it's your job to manage your staff. Give me the gacha. And I and the guide, I decide where we go and how we arrive there. Do you get it? Don't argue with me. How am I supposed to not question a stranger who can't even hear me? That's a good question, but the man does have red eyes, right? Ticking. So what did they say? Nothing much. Some verbose agreement that was. And I know it could be enough to let me know that you approved that day. Now, Matthew, off we go. Woohoo! Let's go. How are you feeling, Charon? Extreme excitement. I'm about to walk on air. Reports, Charon. Good. 
So, where are we going? Bergilius. Bergilius. They'd like to know the destination. Sai, I believe I told you that already, can't they? The Inferno, right? Is that where we're going? But just, where are we going? Where? With this side, the bus shuddered and started to rumble forward. Wait. That's me. With a clock face. And that's the end of the prologue, right? That is great. This has been an absolute treat to check this out today. Big shout out to the community as well for your support in helping us to understand the game better and the story and the lore. And there's so much lore. And I'm so excited to keep streaming this game and to check out Chapter 1 in our next stream. We'll probably be doing it, guys, on Tuesday next week as well. So I really do hope that you guys can come along again and stay tuned for that. Awesome. Let's go. Prologue complete.